Hello and welcome back to Coating Gaming. We are here on Football Manager 20 for episode number 18 of our 1860 Munich Let's Play series. Whatever you want to call it. So as you can see by the league table, we are top of the league. It's been a struggle. We've played 13 games, won 8, drawn 2 and lost 3. So that gives us one point um, ahead of Unterhachen. And we face Osnabrück and then Bayern Munich proper, the actual Bayern Munich team in the DFB Pokal round two. And you can have a little look at the player stats here. We've got David Otto with seven goals as our highest goal scorer. Fkan with the highest average rating. Fkan, Brock and Streller with most assists. Fkan with the best completion rate. Brock and Streller the most man of the matches. Uh, Freud, Frieda and Martinez with the most yellow cards. And Dahoma with the most red cards. Currently a B performance, and as you can see from the last time we met, which was uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, it was the uh, three nil over Hassan and the one nil loss to Würzburg. We then went and lost to Bayern two, one nil. A bit annoying. The Dome was sent off in the 64th minute, and Fetty Alp scored a last minute winner. It was gutting. We then bounced back with the Marcel Brock goal in the third minute against Erdogan. And 1-0, well, no, they were in and around us at the time, so that was a very good win. We then drew 2-2 against Augsburg. They scored early, we equalised. And they scored just after half-time, and then we equalised in the final few minutes with David Otto. And then we went to Kaiserslautern, we won 2-0. Um, Kaiserslautern is going to become an important part of this uh, this episode in a, in a moment's time. We then beat... Um, Bruno, 1-0 in a friendly, uh, Dawn got the goal there, and then we beat Jenna, 5-1. Very good game, Fkan and Brock were both on hat-tricks, they couldn't quite finish it, David Otto with the goal as well. And that leads, leads us into Osnabrück and Bayern Munich. Now there's a few players that I'm planning on buying. If I have a look at the transfers here, um, there's two people already that I've made an offer for, they're relatively cheap. Um, this is a fullback. Uh, Sissoko, Alpha Sissoko, relatively cheap. He's going to the final year of his contract, but I sort of need a, I need a right back straight away, and he would come in as the best right back. Currently operating on a good three league level, potentially a good Bundesliga two player in the future, would be a very good signing. He's fairly consistent, um, but he doesn't enjoy big matches, so it's a bit iffy on that one. But I just need someone to plug the gap there. I think that's the most important part of the team. Um, and then we've also got this guy from Kaiser Slaughton, who is a uh, 24 year old born midfielder. Um, they've accepted the offer of 200,000, uh, rising to 350 if he plays 50 games. And that's him at the moment in time. He is 24 years old. He's not coming into the final year's contract, but he is a fringe player for them. But he is three and a half star current and four star potential, which means, and he relishes big matches and is fairly consistent. Bravery and work rate made him a good team player. I think he'd be good as a replacement, not for Frieda necessarily, but for Erdman, which means we could get rid of Erdman in the in January and potentially get someone else in. The person that I'm wanting to get in uh, is if we go onto that one. I think it is. Is it this guy? No. Where's he gone? Well, he was here a minute ago. <laughs> Maybe it's not that. This guy could be, could be. Nope. Him? No, but he would be fantastic, actually. I don't think we can get him. There is another player. Um, Johnny? I don't think Johnny would come to us. I can't, oh, it's, it, they're in Kaiserslautern. <laughs> I don't know that much. Here we go, Theodore Bergman. He is a jack of all trades in the middle of the park. There, he is valued at three hundred, well, hundred, well, three hundred thousand, but estimate costs one hundred forty-five to three hundred fifty. Um, I tested the water there. They did accept a three fifty offer, but I feel like that might be a little bit too much at the moment in time. So I'm going to try and wiggle them there. Um, he is currently four star, potentially four and a half, so superb to either excellent. 
and with a uh, potential ability of four star and four and a half star he probably won't improve but he's 25 he's got good direct free kicks apparently he has 14 to 16 and i feel like he would be an improvement on probably drezzle he plays perfectly in that deep line playmaker support role um, but he can play in the Mazala, and he can play Mazala attack as well, but he hasn't got quite the finishing for that. So I think he would be good to replace Drezzle for the... Well, because Drezzle, Drezzle sort of stunted his growth now. And uh, yeah, we um, there's a problem here with Drezzle. He's three star, three star. He is 22, but I feel like if we can get some money from him, he's wanted by Braga, so potentially you know, maybe 250 for him or something. Or I might, I might just wait until in, and see if we get promoted. Because if we get promoted, they might be valued higher because they're in a, a better league. So we'll see, see what happens with them. But that is uh, my current transfer dealings and what I'm trying to get done. But the team for this Osnabrück game is as follows: We have Joel and Gold, Strella, Maltinus, Lang, and Dahoma on the back four. Frida as a ball-winning midfielder. Now I'm testing him on that. I didn't really like the anchor man, so I'm testing. That as his uh, role, with Efkan and Drezzle in front of him in the midfield too, with Loretta and Brock on either side, and Otto up front. I might, Dahoma, oh god, hello. Um, can Becker play? 35 minutes of action, yeah, we'll get Becker in, actually, and I'm thinking we get Grilliger in. Yeah, we'll put Grilliger in as... Instead of Loretta, just because of his fitness. Loretta, natural fitness, I'm guessing, is, yeah, seven. So uh, not the greatest in the world, as he is routinely tired. But that'll be the team for today, and let's try and get a win on the board here. We haven't won against them, which is... Uh, <laughs> that's a perfect uh, sign, isn't it? So they are playing a little bit more defensively than we are. Let's avenge, and then let's say you can do it. I have changed my tactic slightly. So we're no longer dribbling less or working the ball into the box and now we're whipping crosses rather than low crosses. And I feel like it's playing better. We're, we're sort of pushing them back a bit better, which is, um, I think, something that might create a few more chances for us. But we are sitting at the top of the league and we need to keep up with under hatching. They have been sort of the standout performers so far. In the last few games, they have um, dropped a few points, which is good for us. And we've sort of managed to win the last couple. But we can get another win off the mark here and go into the cup game with good form. I think there's a potential upset on the cards. I don't know if there is. But I can hope. We are dominating possession here, but not creating much chances. As we do have a highlight on the far side of Estrella with the throw in into Otto. Back to Estrella, down to Frieda. He goes over the top to Becker. Can we find a good cross here? He gets it in the box, and Otto, through a defensive error, makes it 1-0. It's his eighth goal of the season. Robin Becker has been credited with that assist, but it was definitely an unforced error by the defender here as we watch it from the reverse angle. Becker sort of does dally a bit on his cross, but he does manage to get it through, and it comes off the arm of a player. But I guess when there's no VAR, it doesn't really matter. I'm not salty. With VAR, Becker needs to come off straight away. We'll get Etienne on that side. He can't play it according to his rating, but he has got a reasonable right foot, so we should be able to do a job over there. Um, another reason why we need another right back is because Becker's getting injured quite a lot recently, and it's getting annoying. As they ha now have a free kick on this far side, they float into the back post. We haven't really cleared it. It's apparently a penalty. He shoved him. So can Joel step up and make a save we can't afford to concede this close to half time he goes the right way and it goes under him and their strikers eighth goal of the season makes it 1-1 as Magdenberg has jumped up to second place which is annoying can we find the uh, 
of the other games as they've got a corner on this far side now can't concede wow that is <laughs> we've actually been done at the end of the half yeah I, I need to see more from you here they're fired up you need to do something we need we need to do better than that that is atrocious it, was it Etienne on that side he, he should he probably would have been the one defending on that far side for that corner maybe he didn't know he should have been there but Fkan's having a piss poor game here it's another reason to get a better player in here we'll get uh, Rocker on the pitch we'll push Drezel up a little bit We'll push Drezel up a little bit forward. <laughs> a little bit further forward. Greedy's having a, a, a shocking game as well. Loretta's on. And we need to demand more here. Come on. We've got a free we've got a, a goal kick now as we try and make a forward. Try and make it our way forward as Rocker now picks the ball in the midfield. Down to Loretta, who's playing very deep here. Finds Rocker again into Frieda, who goes over the top to Brock. He's now through the defence. I'm so glad he didn't have a shot, but there was no one with him as Etienne picks the ball back up. And we go straight forward again. Brock again on this far side. Whips the ball in. Drezel with a header. Otto with a shot. And how have we not scored there? Comes off the crossbar with Drezel, and then the keeper saves it. And we have a corner with Strela back on this far side now as we're being pushed further and further back. But Strela has a ball now. Can he whip it in? He can. Otto with the header doesn't quite get it. And they go away with the ball. And it looks like there might be a counter. But no, they've run the ball out of play. As we've now got a free kick. Strela to take. And Strela scores his first goal of the season. I completely forgot he was great at free kicks. Was this free kick? Yeah, 50 free kick taking. Yes, please. Beautiful free kick, and it is 2 2. Can we now go and find the win in the last 20 minutes? It's great. We've made all substitutions, so we are tiring here. They want more long balls. I will go a little bit more long, but I'm not going to go too long. We need to get crazy here. Last five minutes. Let's go a bit more positive. Can we find the winner as it doesn't look like we are going to we've got 10 seconds remaining of the 94 minutes that are scheduled to be played we go over the top to Otto he's through on goal here oh, he's offside he's offside and that is that we draw against Osnabrück again comeback was good but that is gutting uh, Unter Hatchin seem to have lost as well. No, they drew as well. Okay, so we still stay one point above them as Magdeburg now push their way into third position. So it's all heating up at the top of the table. Would I would love for Bayern two to just like piss off because they're causing a bit of a issue with um, the promotion race here. They can get relegated, but they can't get promoted, so it's a bit annoying. Um, and I will join you in the uh, cup game against Bayern Munich proper. We are back for the Bayern Munich Cup game. Um, I am going to make some changes here. Adoma comes back in. Le Grilliger plays still. Uh, Etienne comes in to the side. Uh, Lang needs a rest, so we'll get Batiste in. The ball playing defender. I am expecting a loss here <laughs> before anyone says anything. So I've sort of um, I've decided to somewhat rotate the team. Um, by somewhat rotate, I mean pretty much the entire team is going to be rotated. Uh, we'll get Maziz in. Can Rocker play back there? He can't. Maziz can't play back there either. I suppose Loretta could play as a box-to-box -box midfielder, which is a bit unorthodox for him. Um, have we got, where's his name, Perrin? He's still injured, isn't he? Oh, he's injured still. Okay, so he's not playing. So Timotei can play up that side. Oh, no, Sanaga can play there. So we'll get Timotei off the bench. We'll put 
Otto back on. We don't want to rotate too much. But I am uh, concerned about fitness levels. We're not. I, I don't think we're going to win this game. So <laughs> I don't really um, mind too much. We get Timothy on the wing for Brock. No, we'll leave it, we'll leave it like that. Um, so yes, we've got some transfers done. Transfers done. If we look at the huge transfers, you can see some people are leaving, which is good. Um, and we've got the two from Kaiser Slaughter that we wanted and the uh, Alpha Sissoko from St. Etienne, which is good. So to remind you, three and a half star, potential to be four star. Um, four star, maybe four and a half star, with four star, maybe four and a half star potential. And the Sissoko is three star with three and a half star potential. Um, he might be a stopgap to what happens in the future and if we get someone in. But the team for the, today's game is Joel in goal, Etienne, Dawn, Batiste and Dahomer on the back four. Erdman, F. and Dressel, the old school three in the midfield. Grieliger and Brock and Staniger up front. It is pretty much roughly what we used last season. So... um. I've only selected seven out of possible nine substitutions. I forgot about that. Um, so in that case, Frida and Martinez comes in. Although, do we need? No, we probably don't need. So I'll get Timothy on the bench as well. Just just, just, uh, just for some more options attacking-wise, even though we're never going to need this. We're going to go long ball. Um, so they've got Neuer and Cole, Alaba, Hernandez... Oh my god, Kimmich, uh, Thiago, Emery Chan, Gnabry, Muller, Lewandowski. This is going to be painful. Let's give the fans a good performance despite the uh <laughs> despite us never going in a million years to win this game. This is ridiculous, right? Straight away, defensive. I'm gonna go long walls. Sit deep. I'm not now. Nah, I'm gonna sit. I'm not gonna sit too deep. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, yeah. Just long walls, and I ain't playing out of defense. There ain't no way I'm playing out of defense against these guys. Right. Let's kick it off. Let's see if we can cause an upset here. I highly doubt we can. It is a rotated team, and it it Bayern has. I thought Bayern might have rotated slightly, but they bloody well happened. <laughs> Let's try and keep the ball as they've got a free kick on this near side. It's whipped in. It's Muller on the far side. He should have scored. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of highlights when we're on the back foot. We should try and encourage short passing. Mental. Look at this. We've been we're absolutely... Yeah, yeah. Just, just charge everyone down. Although... 20 minutes to go, 20 minutes into the game, still nil-nil as they get a free kick and it goes wide by Lewandowski. We're getting a lot of yellow cards here. I'm going to have time to get creative, see what happens. <laughs> Maybe we should go, not lower. Maybe we should go a bit shorter passing. Maybe we're always going too long as there's a highlight and it starts off in our half. If we score from this, I will... I, I, I don't know what I'll do. I'll cry. Stanlinger picks it up and we're playing nice short passing game against Bayern bloody Munich. As we've gone over the top, Stanlinger's through on goal. Neuer makes a very unconvincing save and it is a corner. This would be the biggest snatch and grab of the entire year if we score and win this game. Because we should not be winning this game. The board wanted a second second round place. We've got it. Fucking Grealing is off the pitch. Oh my lord. <laughs> Grealing has been sent off. Oh. oh my god. This is painful. Right. Stop. For the time being. Can we just do that? Right. You're both on attack here though. Both on attack. F can you need to chill? Actually, can you let's F can with a box to box midfielder? Um I think let's put him on defend. And yeah. I'm not gonna change I'm not gonna do anything. As they've now got a throw it on this near side. 
I'm grinning so much now. You can probably tell. Erdman with the ball. He wins the ball back and Brock is now not through because Alaba is fast. Very fast. I would like to crunch uh, Emery Cham. Uh, would would please me a lot if he uh, if he got injured. But they are playing the ball very nicely around us. It's going to lead to a goal. I can just feel it. We're being torn a new one here. They have got a man advantage. Targa's in the box. Lewandowski picks it up. It's Gnabry. No, it's we're defending as we clear it. Not very far. Muller now on the far side. Etienne does put the ball up. Oh my God, what can we do for this? Nothing. I love it. <laughs> yes, ease him off the bloody challenges. I don't want another player sent off. Yep, Thiago throws him down. This is incredible. We are nil nil at half time with a man, the man sent off. I am pleased. I am pleased how things are going. We're nil nil at half time against Bayern Munich, a non rotated Bayern Munich side. Quite frankly, this is incredible. We have been spanked with shots, but they haven't got many on target, which is good. We are being very defensively sound currently. As I thought they were about to just prove me wrong there. Obviously, we're not creating anything because we haven't got a striker anymore. But as long as we don't concede from a stupid corner, that'd be great. <laughs> Never mind. We conceded from a stupid corner. It did look like a handball in the build-up there, but sure. I'm guessing like FIFA, FM doesn't give handballs. Was it handball in the build-up? Yeah, not by their player though. Which is which is gutting. We sort of expected it, but as long as we keep it to like one or two nil, I'm I'm happy. We have we, we are allowed to ten men and we have been for now twenty minutes ish. As yeah, they are. Etienne, Jesus Christ. Hang on a minute. Ah, oh, Starling, you need to run faster than that, mate. They're just whipping the ball backwards and forwards. They're doing exactly what they need to do. Madoma almost wins it back, but Thiago gets a shot off Joel with a nice save. And yeah, it's <laughs> it's not going well, is it? I'm going to screw it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go cautious. I say I'm going to go for it and then go cautious, but that is going for it against Bayern Munich. They haven't rotated their team. They've got bloody Neuer in goal. There is no way any of our players are getting past Neuer. But if we can, uh, if we can get another chance, that would be nice. As Muller almost gets a header goal from outside the box. We will get Brock off. Timote comes on, and Etienne will come off. Strella will be on the pitch. Who is a much better player all round? Uh, F can yeah chill out on the uh, chill out on the sliding challenges. But yeah, Gnabry almost got through us there. Joel has the ball. And it's just thick and fast with highlights upon highlights from their team. If we could nick a goal and make it go to extra time, that would make my entire day. Muller is having an awful game. But yeah, it's just... we were. Whoa, why have they not scored there? They're going more attacking as well. Um, if, it, if it wasn't for the fact that we had a player sent off, we could have gone for this in this in these final twenty minutes, but uh, there's nothing you can do here. If they're just pulling our defenders out of position, and Gnabry now picks the ball up on the far side, crosses it to Muller into Emery Chan, who has a shot, and thank God he doesn't score. Their shots on target have improved in the second half by quite a lot. Can we push them out here? Emery Chan picks the ball up into Saul. Over the top to Thiago, who manages to keep the ball in. Our defence hasn't reacted in the slightest, but Strela manages to make a tackle. It's a free kick. It's offside. Thiago's offside, apparently. I'm going to demand more from them. See what happens. Hopefully not concede an instant goal. Madoma is looking like he's going to die here. But I haven't got anyone that can go that side right. Erdman onto that side. Frieda on. <laughs> and it's just... <laughs> we've got a person playing out of position against Bayern Munich. Oh, I love it. 
I don't even think if we didn't rotate, we we, we would have won this game. But Thiago yeah, to take the corner to the far side. We do manage to get it clear as Kingsley Kerman's on the pitch. And then <laughs> Koretska comes on for the Ray Chan. Oh my God. And Coutinho as well. We've got Coutinho on the pitch. I mean, hopefully someone's, some of our players are swapping shirts with them and we can sell these for money. Because this would be great. I wonder how much money um, we'd actually get from this game. I know we get 500000 for the TV deal. Because it's being shown on live TV. Uh, so go, yes, you can run. Whoa, referee. Get him off the pitch. Get him off the pitch. And I'm wondering what gate receipts and whatnot are, are looking like. All right. Attacking. Go on. Go for it. There's a corner. This is to be the last kick of the game. Give or take. It's Thiago to take. It goes long. Dressel picks the ball up and he fires it towards the halfway line. We do lose 1-0. Gutting that we lost 1-0 because of a sending off. But we should have lost that game more than that anyway. Yeah, I can't fault the performance there. That was that was good compared to what uh, <laughs> what I was expecting there. As Dortmund lose to Wolfsburg as well. Jesus Christ. But there you go, guys. We are out of the cup, which is rather unfortunate. Um, but we will be back for the final two games of the uh, first half of the season against Karlsruhe and Magdeburg. Two big games there, potentially. So we'll be back for those two, and then uh, we'll join you after the uh, January transfer window and see if we've got any transfers for that. But thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed the episode, make sure you hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. If you do end up subscribing, make sure you click that notification bell to stay up to date with everything on the channel. But until next time, goodbye.